Yo, guys, it's Juan Fire here, back again with another episode. Today is Wednesday, and you guys know what that means. We are here for a mid-week recap. Now, there's no music going on right now, but I wanted to just get some of these things in before the actual episode begins. Of course, you guys know about my live stream already. It's it's there. Yeah, I do random random games here and there. So I've got, of of course, suggest games for me to play on my live stream. I do have a lot of things. From Steam and whatnot. If you guys want to find me on Steam, it is One Fire. That is the name that I have chosen for myself everywhere I go. If you guys find it, it's me. Look for me on Steam. I'll probably stop. I'll probably drop my Steam link in the description down below. But other than that, guys, I will be putting a lot more stuff on the channel besides virtual pet games. I know you guys have already seen the World of Warcraft happening. You guys have seen the Dragonmon happening. I will also be dropping Creativeverse. I will be dropping Minecraft. Uh, a lot of stuff will be happening, and in my live stream, I'll be playing other games. I would love to see a lot of people come in here, so for the first time ever on my channel, I'm going to say this. If you guys like this video, please push that like button. If you guys want to see more stuff on my channel, just hit the subscribe button. And if you guys want to see more, drop a comment down below. I know I've never said that in any of my other videos. I hope it doesn't make me lose subscribers, but hey, it it's kind of the big thing of YouTube, so I'm going to put it out there. And without further ado, guys, I just hope that, well, you guys enjoy the midweek recap. Yo, guys, it's Wanvi here with another midweek recap. You guys haven't seen one of these in so freaking long, and I know you guys haven't, but I'm here to do it for you guys. Our midweek recap is here, and I hope this volume actually works, because I know the last one messed up. But here we go! Of course, you guys know I always start out with this awesome list of games. These are all the Virtual Pet games. Of course, this list has needs to be changed, actually, because something else popped up here in the Virtual Pet list. You guys can go and pause the list whenever you need to. I know I'm scrolling up really fast, but these are all the games that I've found that are still active and going. But something has happened to this list. There is a secondary list. Let's go and go to the next part here. You guys have no happen to notice I don't have all the tabs up. We're just going to go very, very closely so we don't have to have all those tabs up and running. This is the list of games that are in the making, if I can get all the way to the top. <laughs> up here are games that are in the making, and some of the games that are on my list are actually on this list. So these are games that are in development. Hey there, I'm Martin. Shout out to Martin, man. I hope you guys actually, I hope you see this video. And just, well, hey, I hope you see it, man. A shout out to you for making this list. And I will be changing up my list according to yours because I didn't know that some of these were actually still in the making. So Martin says, I created this thread to detail all of the in-development virtual pet site, Sims, mobile apps, and RPG games. That is basically what all the games I have been playing on my channel as of the beginning of my channel up until now when I've got my game computer. But anyways, if you know anyone who has got one of the above and would like to inform people that inform people of it, then please forward them to this topic. To view the previous version of this thread, there is a thread, there is a previous version of this. Please use the form below to get your site added. On the list, there is the form sitting right there. Said so the name of the game, so link to any site related to the game. If you give guys are creating a game and it'd be like, hey, I want some people to start playing my game, but I haven't finished it yet. Of course, I want some feedback on the uh, the type of game that I have or something that I'm creating with it. Pop in on this. I will try and make sure that this link is in the description down below. This is, of course, a Martin's thread for games that are in development. So, moving on from that, because, of course, you guys can see Echoes, that is one of the games on my list, and Elio is one of the games on my list as well. Those are two games that are in development, and I will be like, oh boy, I gotta actually rearrange my list a bit so that I can get these correctly. And he also has, like, the Facebook pages, the Twitter pages, the Tumblr pages of all the information that you guys can see here on those games, or like, on the information, or the, um, the ideas and background and development of everything. He has a Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, the homepage of the website, it's all sitting right there. If you guys want to come take a look at this, I will make sure, I will do my best to make sure this is in the description down below. Anyways, moving on from our very first thing in this episode, onto our very first game. Asidious! 
Now, I know I have not done this midweek recap in a while, and you guys probably already see that at the beginning. I usually have this page set to the extermination, so I'm not going to do extermination this episode, but let's let's take a look at the news, because I have not been on my sites in a long time, guys. I've been playing other games, and it's just been crazy and hectic. So there was a tournament that went down, it looks like there was a three-way tournament thingy going on here, or a double, there's a popsicle and a fish, I don't know. Enigma has some more stuff that came up. Um, and it looks like they've erased the rest of them. I don't see anything else. Uh, old news, uh, 2016 March, is there more old news that I don't see, or is this, okay, this is only the stuff in March for right now. So, we, of course, we are in March, it is, I believe, what is it, um, it's the 2nd, right? The 2nd? Yeah, I believe today's the 2nd. I believe today is March 2nd. So, let's take a look at all the notifications we currently have sitting here. So, back in February, I received some more Cassie tokens because I won the Anima, and that means we also got the Wubbles potion for winning the Anima. More Cassie's tokens for winning the Anima. Guys, these Enigmas. Enigmas are very, very difficult because they're like calculus, math, and all sorts of stuff. I would like to thank someone else for helping me out with that. Just thank you very much, man. You know who you are. I'm not going to say who he is so you guys don't go crowding him, but thank you very much. You know who you are, man. Let's see, you've received the medical staff for one of the Enigma as well. You have received the lovely dovey potion for one of the Enigma. You've deposited blah 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 into the bank. You've deposited blah 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 into the bank. Charles has left a comment on my profiles. Let's go see what that comment is from Charles. Charles, oh, you were invited to take part in the fro racing. Uh, there's something weird going on with that. I did deny that. I remember that. Where, where I'm denying to do that because I don't know exactly what all that was. Basis of this, he's running his own specific fro race that's sort of like the tournaments, but you put all your money towards him. I don't know, Ace, if there's something that's really going on with the fro racing that has been banned or whatnot. But hey, let us know. Maybe next time throw a, uh, a, a, a letter at us or something. But maybe there's something going on about that, and I don't know. But maybe we'll we'll, we'll see what happens with that. So, getting over our notifications right quick, let's go ahead and destroy our notifications because it is now March and we're going to go ahead and get rid of all that. Notifications are gone. I still have the same pets as always in my pets here in Asidious. I may create some more, but all of them are decorated as you guys can see. We have Fire but one one our Fire, Saber, Syria, our Ice, um, oh god, I can't remember the names of these anymore. Our Ice Kanger. We have Blurp. Our fire glow, well, natural glow, but it's I consider it a fire glow because it has the fire pattern to it. We have Bones, our uh, default frog, or frog, I don't really know how you want to say it. We have Bobless, who is the, like, frog and Makar mix. We have Bobless's, like, mother here, Bria. So Bria and Bones made a baby and became Bobless. You guys see that, right? We have Alion! Our Phantasm Nomad, which is one of the pets that I just freaking love. I guess you haven't leveled them up too much, but I made Jacola into a winter one by using the Wintertime Hourglass. So Jacola, our Junivy, is now a winter Junivy. And we have Shando, who is needs a big giant profile about Indica from World of Warcraft, because Indica in World of Warcraft is our Shando. Moving on from Asidious, though into Anatheria. Here in Anatheria, uh, give me one second. Alright, it's, it's still on the screen for some odd reason, but this is, I, I've already registered, you guys can see my pet here, we have the, we have the active pet. There, it's good to go, right? Sitting here. Yep, good to go. Right? Okay, we got it. We have a random giveaway, let's go ahead and see how much money we got from that. Uh, we have a hundred, or, we got a grand from that as well. As usual, it's just a lot of money coming our way, but we haven't used it. So, on your quest, you encounter two enemies and you were overwhelmed, so we failed the quest. Oh well for that one. We're going to go and collect the interest from the bank, and then go and deposit everything in the bank. Collect your interest from the bank, deposit all the money in the bank, and we currently have... 300k? Going pretty strong there. Of course, we do have a professions that I'm going to go looking through. I believe I was going to go Alchemist and Tinker, because the Warrior one I really like, I'm not really up for battling with the pets and whatnot. 
But I love Pokemon. I'm sorry, I love Pokemon. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. I cannot wait for those games to come out. They've already both been pre-ordered by myself. <laughs> Moving on from Anatheria, though. We have... Animal Jam. Give me one second again, guys. I do have to log in for Animal Jam, because Animal Jam is kind of weird. Here in Animal Jam, like I said in the last video, which you guys probably didn't hear, I'm able to move a whole lot faster. You guys have probably seen that it, it's it's just like boom, boom, boom. I can move in this. I can move in circles right now. We can just like go and complete other circles. Boom, 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 boom. Yep. See. Okay. This is basically the ability of my gaming computer. Oh, you do not have a member to enter the pet. Well, okay. We're gonna actually go up here on the. Let's go on the slide, shall we? Let's go on the slide. See, we can actually go on the slide now. This is, of course, uh, Animal Jam. Let's go and check out the den like I was saying to you guys last time. I have plushies. We have plushies galore sitting here, guys. Pretty sure you guys can see there's some like hanging on the wall now. We have two lions. We have a fox. We have a couple of kangaroos sitting here. A leopard now. I have been going ham on the claw machine. I don't remember how many freaking coins I had last time. But I've been going ham on the claw machine. Like, ham. I've been going off on the claw machines. And there was a party that came up earlier, like the, uh, what was it? There was some special party, and I don't, I think I, it's just gone. <laughs> there was a special party, I believe it was like a, in the Valentine's Day or something like that, I don't remember. Oh no, it was the Leap Year party, and I, unfortunately I missed that because I was playing some other games, and, uh, I got a live stream going, so it's a bit more better just to play live streams. I know my live stream's like five or ten seconds behind what I actually do, but that's what I that's what I do with that. But moving on from Animal Jam, we have Awas! Another one of my favorite ones on our list. Between Asidious and Awas, I still don't know which one to pick. But Awas, okay, let's see. Uh we got our Monday, let's go get rid of that. There is more news sitting in here. Um, let's see. This is just a quick announcement to inform everyone that we have made some admins to the post from this morning since the uh, horror set and Memphis have been with us for so long and we are quite the ways past where they were supposed to be retired. We decided to allow you to submit your customs for them until Saturday, March 5th. I don't know. Please be aware that in the future you only have 24 hours warning for the Raws. Um, there seems to have been news and I need to find it. <laughs> oh, no, there was a recent news. Okay, there's a quick announcement to inform admits uh, the post morning since... What was it? I'm guessing this set right here as as a, uh, a new custom option now. Oh, there's uh, more stuff. As we roll into March, we have plenty of new goodies ahead of us. First up, uh, the next AY Star, I believe it is. It has been a long time. It has been a long and tiresome journey. We've traveled all the way over A in search of this beauty, but we finally managed to bring home our new star. We present the Shantu. The adorable shark is a member of A and was sketched by Hiraki. Uh, Lesson 3. Neko 295 or uh, 29251. So shout out to Hiraki for creating this cute little shark thingy. I really want oh wait to welcome our newest member. A is into the ranks. We are opening an official coloring contest. So I will more than likely be getting on that. I gotta see if I have any of these gems left, but I don't think I do. I will check to make sure I have some gems left before I actually get into the official coloring contest. A contest ends Sunday, March 6th, 11.59 p.m. We will be selecting several to be added to the A regions, as well as one of our... as well as one to be our official coloration. However, the entries for the next A star were so amazing, we had to include a few more. And this time of year, there's another RAR has appeared. Meet the Ram Rear. So, some new stuff is coming in. There's also the Alaru, um, some of the Loves Fest stuff that I missed. There was a lot of cool stuff that I missed. I, I've been on the site in so long! But, uh, we did receive a letter. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You received a love letter from... Mahari, I believe it is. 
Imhari. So, shout out to these people for giving love letters. Suri, I believe it is, Espion, and Mahari. Or Mari. I don't know how to say it. I'm very sorry for killing it if I did. But let's see. In spring, everything is full of promise. The child sporting under the lawn and the seasons sympathize together and nature rejoices in her virgin loveliness. Lo love Linus. Yeah. <laughs> Charles Landman, The Dying Year, 1840. So that's a quote from him. Good thing I'm quoting it as Mari's quoting it to me. Moving on! <laughs> we got the letter. Um. I still don't think I put any eggs underneath the tree for you guys. The phoenix tree. Yeah, there's no eggs under here. I will, I'll drop some eggs down in a bit. But there's one other thing I wanted to tell you guys about. There is a breeding pair for me right now. I don't know actually how to see it. But I'm pretty sure you guys remember last time. Like, way, way back. That, um... Icy Storm and I currently have a breeding going on. It is between two of the frog-like uh, creatures here on AWOS. And you guys will see that eventually. I don't know how long that'll take. But he says yesterday that our breeding has actually finally gone through and they're creating it. Or it's in the queue for being created. So there should be another um, another breeding coming my direction. Uh, another pet. If you guys want to see my pets, let's go ahead and take a look at my lair right quick. We're gonna take a look at the first page of all of my pets together. So display all pets. This is just what we got going here right now. I will make sure to get some more pets going or some more good goodies and stuff for you guys to look at. But going from AWOS on to the next game of Beast Keeper. You guys know me and Beast Keeper already. Dragons galore, baby. Dragons freaking galore. Do we usually click on pets? And guys, you guys know already, we have the Griffins, Spirit, Egret, and our Nameless Griffin. If you guys want to name it, name it in the comment section down below. We have our Dragons, Gilded, C uh, we need to rename this one. Thanks to Icy Zone for giving this one to me, but I need to rename this one right quick. River, Cloud Striker, and another Nameless. I'm going to actually name this one. I don't know what I'm going to name it yet because it's very similar to Cloud Striker. But as you guys look, we only have two female dragons. I'm gonna try and uh, breathe nameless with uh, Gilded over here. That'll probably be a really, really cool pairing when that comes out because we got like the clouds here, then we got the stripes on this one. But look, you have the Pumas, Evrina, Billy, Nameless, and Nimrod. If you guys want to name the Nameless Puma, toss it in the comments section down below. The Cockatrices, we have Overhaul and First Frost. First Frost came from Overhaul and an Albino Cockatrice that we them with and we have no giveaways right now because I have no repeats so I will be doing some more like exploring see what quests are available for today see if we can get some more money quests are available we have three quests are available so we can put river on this one we can put gilded on this one and then nameless on this one down here let's go and submit all those and we get 300 from that when those are done going with two of these up here that I can't really do anything with. Of course, we gotta do some more research and stuff. I gotta do some more exploring. I'm not gonna do it all on camera right now. I would do it all off camera so you guys can see. Maybe next time I'll have another pet or something. But moving on from Beastkeeper, moving on to Chicken Pickaxe Smoothie. Now you guys already know what's happening here in Chicken Smoothie, and you guys know why I'm already excited. New pets. New pets, new pets, new pets, new pets. So we have the wolves. We have the horses, cats, butterfly wolves, rodents, second gen pets, hatchery, and other pets. And of course, always, always, you guys should always check the pound to see if it's open. Because some people will have tossed their pets and be like, oh, I want that. Check the pound. Moving on, though. We have three dogs, actually. Okay, so we have the little guy here by Berkshire. Little guy here by Sketch. And the little guy here, February 26th is the Tale of Fairy Tale Day. Pluma has made some cool pets to help us get in the storybook. Ooh! So February 26th will tell us fairy tale. I didn't actually get in on that because of course I messed all up. But we can 14 of those! Yes, we're taking all of those. Adopt me! I am adopting all 14 of those right now. That's happening. How many of these can we grab? We can grab six of these guys. Create names! Uh, I should probably put them in groups. I'll put them in groups later. Actually, I should probably put them in groups. I'll, I'll put these in groups for sure. Seven, create names for me. 
They go in the wolves, the dogs, and canines adopt me. Exit that one. Here in the horses, we have two horses. We have this one made by Soul Wings and this one made by Dr. Draca. We can adopt eight of those, so create names for me. Put those in the horses section and adopt me. This is basically all what Chicken Smoothie is, guys. And you guys probably look at me like, why are you going crazy over Chicken Smoothie? This is all it is. It's clicking and I think it's freaking wonderful. Just collecting all of them to see what artists, what imaginations can actually get out there. We only have one kitty this time. But it's still, I like the cute tabby. I'm hoping I get a PP. I'm hoping I get a PP or something like this, because this will be really cool in a PP. Or PPS, I think it's called. If that's a PPS, I, I'm going to freaking just drool over it. Because that is a really cute kitty cat. If somebody gets that one, please send me that one. I will trade you a rare for it or something. I don't know. I will trade you something for it. If you get a PP of this. If you get a PP of this little kitty cat right here, I want it. The PPS is the one I want. Of course, we have a butterfly wolf here. Take eight of these guys, create names. And we did have a butterfly wolf folder now. You guys see that? I did change up the folders. And that is done. Next up, we have the rodents. So adopt me. We can adopt six of these guys, create names for them. Put them in the rodents folder. Adopt me. And we've got those guys. Oh, they're different colors when they came in. So those are cool. Moving on. No second generation pets this time. That's kind of, eh. We have eggs, so these look like owl eggs, honestly. I don't know if that looks like an owl egg to you guys or not. We named all those guys. Of course, you can rename these anytime you need. I'm actually going to leave them in the pets without a group because I don't know what they'll hatch into. So we're going to go ahead and adopt those and leave them in the pets without a group. We go to the very last one. We have the Adopt Other. And these, pretty sure you guys remember last time, were Phoenix. So we're going to put them in the Phoenix category now. Create names and adopt them all now under my stuff it will I'll rearrange these once I get to them but I wanted to show off our Neverland oops <laughs> well we do have all these wolves and dogs in here I want to show off our Neverland kids I'm pretty sure I showed them off last time but there is of course these are Neverland kids these are our PPS ones right now I'm pretty sure I can find some more PPS ones in the stuff that we have and I wanted to show off the dupes because I wasn't able to speak last time over the music but these are all of my duplicates right now if you guys want one of these duplicates just say hey I want that and I will more likely give it to you because it's a re it's a revamp of what I have if you guys have one that I want or some of you think I'd like send it my direction but if it's, of course, a duplicate, it's going right back out the door. I'm not keeping any same pets. It's kind of the thing of Chicken Smoothie. If you guys want to keep a pet, keep it. But if you have doubles, I don't really see the point in having doubles. But of course, if any of these are rares, I will be taking them off this list. Like, I don't know if that's a rare now. Is it you rare? Fully grown. The rarity is unknown. So that doesn't have rarity yet. If some of these are rares, they will be more likely taken off the list. But moving on from Chicken Smoothie into Dragon's Cave. And it's some cool music starting up right now. I'm losing my breath. All right, here we have all of my dragons, and I'm pretty sure some of them probably have died because I didn't check up on it. Oh, no. We're all good to go right here. These are the four new dragons that I have, and then four other new dragons, and so on and so forth. You guys see all the new dragons I've collected. Of course, I've collected a lot of dragons. So I'm going to show you guys one more time how to like do this stuff here. There are eggs here. And off of this front page, I'm going to go ahead and steal four eggs. There's one egg there. There's two eggs, three eggs. And that'll be the fourth egg sitting there. So make sure we collect them all. You click on the tabs. Make sure you can see the egg up here. So there's one egg. Click on the next one. That is two eggs. Click on the next one. That is, of course, three eggs. Click on the next one for that. That is four eggs. And we have four new eggs in here ready to be hatched. And after that, you can go to the help spot and go to the, uh, where's it at? I believe it's raising an egg. From raising an egg, though, you don't, the way I have it set up is up here. I can just go to the forums. This is the basically nursery forms, so all these sites down here will be nurseries for these eggs. If you guys want to hatch them quickly, don't hatch them too quickly or else they'll die, but 
You guys want to hatch him pretty quickly without actually having to try, like, going all over the freaking internet to hatch these eggs. These are hatcheries, and they will hatch them really quick for you. But that is Dragon's Cave. You guys saw all, all the dragons that I have. Moving on from Dragon's Cave into Egg Caves. So let's see if we have any... Whoa, we got a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, we got a site blog. User Splunk is fed my pets. The first of March is here. Check out the cash shop monthlies. I didn't catch all that because it ran away. Uh, March... Yep, yesterday maybe? No? Okay. There is a site blog March 1st. There is catch shop monthlies that are open now. And older than that, what do we have? Splunkies fed my pets. There's a new site blog, night site blog. I don't recap the site blogs. Let's see what the new monthlies are. Of course, it is St. Patrick's stuff. And I do want to get some of these. But let's take a look at what we can grab from the cave. I'm going to only grab one egg for now. Or go straight up the middle. Approach the egg. We got this egg here. We are going to name him Nobu 2. Oh, that's right. I can't have a space between them. So Nobu 2 is the one I'm going to name this egg. And of course, it wasn't a St. Patty's one, but there is, of course, the mysterious Astro. We have not got an egg from here yet. Let's see if we can gain one on today's episode. Attempt to steal the egg. Oh, no. I keep randomly attacked you before you could take the egg. So... Another egg I can't grab, so I'm not sure if there's even any eggs that come from the asteroid. Let me guys know. Ugh, you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are getting eggs from the asteroid or whatnot. But let's go ahead and take a look at my 55 creatures I currently have that are all still eggs. Like, there's no hatchery as far as I know for this game. But I would love to see a hatchery for this game so you guys can see them like hatch quickly and whatnot. Our highest leveled egg right now, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Our highest leveled egg is this one right here. The uh, This is level 100 right now. This is... Or level... This thousand? This is like level 1000? I believe that says level 1008. I believe that says level 1008. Well, let's see. This is a leak streak. And it hatches by, I believe, views. I'm not hatches by feeds. So let's see how many feeds we got on that. Licks trick right now. We have 70 feeds, so maybe we'll get close and see what we can do with that. But it has a lot of views. Maybe, hopefully, it'll hatch soon and we can actually get our first creature for this game. But moving on from Egg Cave into Elmo! Yeah! This is the check. This is the secondary chicken smoothie, and I'm freaking loving this one as well. So of course we're gonna adopt all of those right there. Those have been adopted. Back to the adopt section. I'm just gonna go ahead and click, click back and forth a few times. Actually, what you know what I can do is boom, 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 and boom. That should be enough. Click on the back on the adopt again. We grab the bunnies this time. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the cactus rooms. From the cactus rooms, we're gonna go ahead and grab the. House R. Griffins from the House R. Griffins. We are going to grab the Deer Chiller Wings from the Deer Chiller Wings. We are going to be grabbing the Ovis El El Elkrin. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, from the Elkrin, we will be grabbing the Hydro. Ooh, Hydro Direwolves. That sounds really cool. Back to the Adoption Center for all of these pages right here. Just get back to the Adoption Center. I'm pretty sure I don't have to have all these up again, but. Scrolling all the way down, we are going to get the Catfish Sea Servals. And from the Catfish Sea Servals, we're going to be grabbing the Halogen Ligers. Alright, so those those are done. Moving on from there, we have the Legacy Release. And the Legacy Release is... Wow, that that's really cool. It looks like a double like carousel type pony thing going on here. And I want to see what those will, will uh, like breed up or uh, grow up into. You guys can already see the differences here. Some of them will look like wooden and whatnot. But, um, from there, moving on to, actually, our homestead. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at our, I believe it was the rune drakes that we wanted. It was, like, the firefly rune drakes that we had before. Uh, whoops. <laughs> I need to go up here to actually do it. I believe it was the rune drakes that we were doing. Yep, the firefly rune dragons. Oh, we got a rare! It's a rare! It's our very first rare as far as I can see. Yep. 
this is the very first rare that I've found, but this this one looks really cool. We are going to go ahead and drop that into our rares folder, which is our very first rare. Of course, no one can take our rares, so moving on to go to the new group, I will be searching through all the rares, or all the different creatures I have here in Eldmore. I think it's going to be freaking awesome. But let's take a look at the news real quick. The news is just, it's flashing at me right now. So March pets released. A whole new batch of pets is available for March, of course. So there's a horde of new monthlies as well. So, see the new monthlies are, oh, no, ha. Huh? We have to drop by Bazaar, actually. So these are the new ones for um, March. There's the Ancient of Youth, the uh, Thylacine, the, all the foxes here. And of course, a pet pack will be a fox pack. Those come cool looking foxes. Of course, those cost baubles, and we are not buying any baubles. Moving on from Eldmore, we have, I believe, Valley of the Unicorns. <clears throat> and okay, I'm just logging in. I'll just log in right quick for you guys, because this is getting a pretty long episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. But oh, we got something spinning over here. What is that? March custom themed spring. Spring is on the horizon. Bring. Bring rain showers and pretty flowers. Submit custom inspired by submit customs inspired by spring, blossoming flowers, new growth, baby animals, you name it, we want to see it. So they are asking for customs, guys. I want to see some cool customs to myself. Let's take a look at our stables right quick. <coughs> I'm pretty sure these horses have all grown up. Yeah, all these horses have grown up. So of course you guys remember the rule for Valley of the Unicorns. Ooh, that's a tiny egg. Tiny eggs are ours now. <laughs> it, it takes two seconds for you to be able to adopt an egg. Oh, that looks like cool with butterfly wings. I haven't really... I'm just you choosing these at random. If you guys see some, like, really cool ones that you want me to try and, like, go for... Like, go for the secret egg of goldness or pretty whatnots. Um, tell me to try and find the egg. That one looks kind of cool. Of course, I believe that's four, right? I believe that is four eggs... That's four eggs, so we get to choose one more egg. Um, actually, I'm going to try something a bit different for you guys. We are going to actually breed these out. So, this is a unicorn, and it's a stallion. So, this is a cool-looking one. It has, like, vines and stuff. We're going to go ahead and breed him out right quick. Uh, let's feed. Breed is right here. And these are all the, the unicorns that we have to breed from that are female. We're going to choose this dark purple one right here. So, freeze it. Oh, this is our very first one from the floor. So Freezant will be the mate for this. We're going to breed those two and see what egg we get. We get this dark looking egg here with uh, black on the side. We've seen this egg before, but <laughs> that is our fifth egg. So I need to probably start breeding out the egg, seeing what I can get through with. But moving on from Valley of the Unicorns, we have our next game, which is Watch. Watch Eyes, of course, you guys remember what Watch Eyes was. It was the awesome game with all these awesome looking dogs and whatnot. I haven't gotten any new Wajas, so there's nothing really new going on there. Uh, we can look at my cave. We have all these sitting here. Um, Plushy Haven. I'm not able to bring these out because I don't have a love pair. Like I said in the last episode, but you guys didn't hear it. But yeah, this is all. I still have the same amount of Wajas. I won't be. There's nothing really going on with Wajas. But moving on to Flight Rising. And I think I'm in trouble here. Flight oh no, we're going to Flight Rising! Feed! Hurry up and feed before they get even more hungry! You guys didn't see the percentage up here. You didn't see the percentage at 86%. Yeah, I am running slowly out of food. Of course, I need to collect some food. You guys see here, these are my dragons. Like I said in my last episode, I will be exalting most of these dragons. So anyone after Glacine that you see back here, just say RIP in the comment section down below for the unnamed, the ones that have been named. All these, in the, all these back here will be bred out once and then exalted or sold. So Dredgekin is up for sale right now if you guys want to get Dredgekin. Or if you guys want these dragons, ask me for them. You can give me, uh, I'd say, 5k in gold. 5k in gold for each dragon. Except for, like, this, the, of course, the super rare ones. So, like, the, uh, the Coddle here and the, uh, the Wild Claw. 5, 5k in gold if you guys want to toss it at me. I'll toss you the dragon. You guys can have at it. Of course, they all are breedable, as you guys can see here. They are breedable, so you guys can go ahead and have ham at the breeding section. Well, there are a few dragons up here that, of course, I wanted to keep because they're like some of my dream dragons. They're really cool looking dragons, but I'm looking for a certain one to breed out. 
More than likely, it's gonna be Scarlet and Prince because those are like the Scar Dancers or the Sky Dancers, and there's just a lot of stuff going on with Sky Dancers and whatnot. But moving on from Flight Rising, next up we have Daylight Pets, our new game here. You guys will see in the episode I did collect a few pets. I now have Dareem the Droda, Loki Loki the Doki Doki, and Horton the Pharaoh. So these are some of the new pets that we have here. And you guys will also learn that in this game it is also um, keep your pet fed or else you can't do anything with your pet in the game. But moving on from Daylight Pets, which is currently getting a 3 out of 5 because it's not really for me, guys. I'm letting you guys know this now. It's not really for me. We have Digis. Now, this game is automatically getting a 1 out of 5 for me because it is, it is a game and the concept of it is so freaking amazing. It's just, I guess I can't get into it because I haven't really just been getting into this. Um, excuse me. So yeah, we get that out of the way. You guys probably saw the World of Warcraft is, yeah, updating and whatnot. Yep, okay, that out of the way. But did you see how? One out of five. I love the concept of it. You have to play the games to get as much money as you possibly can to collect the pets. Which are ba this basically is chicken smoothie. This this game is basically chicken smoothie. But the process of it is you have to gain money to actually get your pets. And I do love that aspect of this side project. Hint, hint, quotation marks, quotation marks, side project. But at the same time, I don't know, I can't get rid of the, I can't really get the feel for it. It is a freaking amazing concept. I'm, I'm letting you guys know I do love the concept of it, but it just I don't it just seems to be thrown off with the with the games here so like uh, number nuisance is just a whole bunch of math problems dictionary dilemma is uh, scrambled words go fish go I don't even know what the heck it is bingo is I've played it four times and it or twice no I've actually played it twice sorry just a whole bunch of moves it, it, I didn't get anything out of it and then guess the cup you have to have an actual digi to play it so it's just I don't know Maybe you just need more of more games. I would suggest more games for this site. But anyways, guys, I'm pretty sure I've wasted all your time for today. You guys probably don't like me anymore for how long I make my videos because no one comments on them anymore. Or you just don't like me because I'm done playing. I I'm not done playing them, but I haven't played them in a while. All the Virtual Pet games. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this mini recap. Hope you enjoy the more episodes that are coming up for the Virtual Pet games. Hope you enjoy the entire list. And I want to say thank you. Just thank you guys for being here and watching my videos. Just being here and being incredible. All of you guys are awesome. And I love it how you guys just like here on certain games be like, here, there's this part to do and there's this part to do. Hey, you missed this back then. I'll try my best to get everything up and running. But of course, this list is our virtual pet list. And of course, it will be changed up a bit. But guys, I am One Fire, the Virtual Pet Master. This has been the Virtual Pet Dimension on the planet of Midweek Recap. Thank you guys so much. I will definitely be talking to you guys later. This is One Fire, signing out.